MailChimp email marketing tutorial. Create email marketing campaigns using MailChimp. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with MailChimp. So let's jump right in. Now to get started, simply click on sign up and you can sign up for free. I already have an account, so I'm gonna be logging on to my account on MailChimp. And I'm just gonna be continuing with Google for a seamless login process. Now, we're gonna have to log in because we disconnected our account, but we're just gonna log in over here. And once we do that, we're just gonna click on create account, which for some reason it's not doing. And now we're just going to sign up. And then signing up on MailChimp is completely free, so you don't have to worry about any sign up fees until you are sending out emails. And even then, MailChimp does have a free plan as well. So you can get started for free and then choose to upgrade or scale your business as you go. So right now we've just logged into our account and we're going to be completing our login verification. So we're just gonna have to type out our login code. We're gonna send out the email code once we do that. We're gonna open up our mailbox and we're gonna get a code in a couple of seconds. Copy this code and then put it in. Click on submit verification. And once we do that, we can head on over into our MailChimp account. Now, once we've done that, we can proceed with creating our campaigns on MailChimp. Now, before you create a campaign, you obviously have to add your audience or a subscriber. If you don't have any subscribers added, then you're not gonna be able to send out your campaigns. So for that, you're gonna go ahead and click on audience on the left and then click on all contacts. Once you do that, you can add any contact. Now. In MailChimp, when you click on create on the top left, you can click on email and you have three types of emails. You have templates, plain text, and then regular. And then any email that you have created can be used in automation. Automations are basically a sequence of yes or no's, a sequence of events that are going to happen. And you can set up different types of emails for different steps of an automation. Now, depending on the type of campaign you might be building, if you have a simple welcome campaign you're building, then you can just proceed with designing your email first. Otherwise, if your campaign is more complicated, then you might want to set up a, a more complicated, you know, automation and a more complicated sequence. So I like to set the sequence first in that particular situation. Now in this, you also have several different templates for um, automations in MailChimp. They have things like welcome contacts who subscribed via your pop-up, find new contacts through Instagram ad leads, so on and so forth. And then you have nurturing leads contacts. So you obviously have a lot of amazing rebuilt automations. However, if you don't find something that works well with you, then you can build from scratch. So I am just going to build a simple one from scratch. It's gonna be a welcome sequence just with a few added steps. So I'm gonna call this welcome. Once I've done that, I'm gonna choose a starting point. And the starting point is whenever, no, not when they're added to a tag. I'm going to change the starting point. And whenever they sign up for emails, I'm gonna save the starting point. Whenever a contact signs up to MLN Designs, which is our email you know, marketing list, then we're gonna add a journey point. So then I want to send an email, which is going to be a welcome email and I'm going to set the subject which is going to be welcome to Emelyn Designs newsletter or just welcome to Emelyn Designs and then once I do that I'm going to click on save. Now once I've done that I can proceed with just removing you know or finishing the journey point and that's it. However if I want to make this a bit more interesting I can add another journey point. Let's say I want to add a journey point and which is going to be a if or else journey point. So I can choose if or else and this is going to build my segment. So if the email subscription status or the email engagement is often then I might want to use or send them a secondary email. Or you can structure this out in a, a different way by waiting for a trigger. So whenever uh, they buy a specific product, a tag is added to them, it's their birthday, you know, there is some shopping activity, marketing activity. So whenever they open the email, let's say email contacts from your customer journey, safe. So whenever the contact opens, 
any emails from our customer journey then. So after that, we're going to add an if or else situation. So when they do open it, then I can add another journey point, which is going to be to send another email, which might be a promotional email or a discount email. So for that, I'm going to set up a discount or exclusive discount. Now, although this is just my welcome sequence, it has two different emails that I have to design and you can click on upgrade to continue or continue on the top right to proceed with building your automation. Now, it's time for us to actually build the two emails that are going to go into this particular sequence or this particular campaign. So for that, click on create on the top left. I'm going to be creating a regular email and the internal email name is going to be our welcome email. And then I'm just going to click on begin. Once I click on begin, we have three different options. We can use a fully designed template. We can use a basic layout or we can get started from scratch. I personally really like to get started with a basic layout because it provides you structure while still giving you accessibility and customization options. So we have a few different options in this. Some of these are free, some of these are paid. So depending on the type of account you have on MailChimp, you can upgrade to use these or you can use some of them for free. Now, I personally really like visually heavy emails, so I like the gallery style, but that's not everyone's cup of tea. You can pick out whatever you like. I'm going to go with the natural one and then just click on apply. Once we click on apply by default, MailChimp will add our logo if we've uploaded our logo into the MailChimp email marketing tool. If you haven't, you can just go into styles and then click on your email. You can add a background image. You have the option to set a default logo in your account. If you add that, then it automatically is applied in any logo spaces. Now below that, we have the ability to add an image. I'm going to click on add and then click on upload image. Once I click on upload image, I can just go on ahead and upload any image that I want to use in my email. Then I can click on the text and then I'm going to enter some text. So hey or welcome to Emelyn. And then I can add some basic text underneath. Thanks for subscribing to our newsletter. Here you will get exclusive discounts, news, trends. And then after that, I can click on the button. On the left, I can choose where this button links to. So usually this is just going to be your website link. Then you have alignment, shapes, sizes. Everything can be customized. Then at the bottom, you have our footer where you're going to add your email address so people can email you, the current year and the company name. So the current year is 2025 and our company is Spencer or Emelyn Designs. And then we have this end. If. Once completed, you can click on send test or click on save and exit on the top right to save your email. And just like that, our email is created on MailChimp. The best part is that you can get started for free with a limit of 500 contacts. Then the essentials plan starts at $13 a month for 500 contacts. And depending on the number of contacts you have, your pricing will vary. So the minimum number is 500. The standard at $20 and premium for $350. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.